Imar Sinan was the chief Ottoman architect and civil engineer for Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, Selim II, and Murad III. He was regarded as the most skilled Ottoman architect throughout the history of the empire. Mimar Sinan was responsible for the construction of more than 300 buildings. He mostly designed mosques, but his work included various buildings such as schools, hospitals, bridges, and more. He used revolutionary architectural methods developed by himself and inspired many architects of his age and beyond. Born in Kayseri, Örnas, a town which is famous for its stonemasonry, Sinan entered his father's trade as a stonemason and carpenter. In 1512, however, he was drafted into the Janissary Corps and began a lifelong service to the Ottoman army following a period of schooling and rigorous training. Sinan became a construction officer in the Ottoman army, eventually rising to become chief of artillery. Later, in 1537, his military career ended when he was appointed as chief architect of the empire. He divided his career into three periods, which he named as apprenticeship, qualification, and master stages. He designed many remarkable structures in each one of these periods and used advanced architectural and engineering techniques for all of his constructions. Let's take a look at some of the famous structures he designed. Suleimania Mosque is an enormous mosque which is located in Istanbul. It has a large dome flanked by smaller half domes. It has four magnificent minarets with a total of 10 galleries which symbolize Suleiman the Magnificent being the 10th Ottoman Emperor. This mosque is especially important for its excellent acoustics and symbolic meaning. Selimiye Mosque is considered Sinan's absolute masterpiece and is a majestic mosque located in Edirne, Turkey. It was added as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2011. The mosque's main structure consists of a succession of 18 small domes dominated by a huge central dome. Beneath the main dome, which is supported by eight columns placed close to the walls and innovation at the time, is the sanctuary a large square space. The mosque can be observed from great distances away as its location was carefully determined by Sinan. In order to better demonstrate Sinan's genius, let's take a look at some of the techniques he used in these mosques. One of Sinan's brilliant techniques is the soot rooms he placed in some of his mosques. During the period Sinan lived in, candles and oil lamps were used for illumination. The burning of candles and oil lamps generates soot, and the soot would naturally blacken and pollute the ceiling of the building it was used in. However, Sinan managed to collect all of the soot in a room with a ventilation system he designed. Not only did he prevent pollution and unattra unattractiveness in the interior of his buildings, but he also used the soot collected to produce a good quality ink. The way his ventilation design works is still a mystery today. Another example of Sinan's intelligence and creativity are the ostrich eggs he placed in some of his mosques. It is a now a known scientific fact that a slowly decaying ostrich egg emits a scent that the human body can't sense. However, that particular scent is picked up by spiders and other insects and actually repels them. It is presumed that Sinan was the per first person to discover and utilize this phenomenon in his structures and the use of ostrich eggs is first observed in the Suleimania Mosque. Dozens of ostrich eggs were brought from Africa and were beautifully decorated before being placed in various spots within the mosque. This method discovered by Sinan was later used by many architects in the following centuries and is used even in some mosques today. However, it is a mystery as to how Sinan discovered this method 400 years ago. Perhaps the greatest trait of Sinan's mosques are their acoustic properties. Sounds of speech or music in a structure with poor acoustics would be disturbing and there would be much extensive ringing. Sinan was able to develop several effective methods to achieve perfect acoustics in his mosques and other buildings. For instance, he hung dozens of jars from the ceiling in some of his large buildings, which resulted in the preacher's voice being heard clearly everywhere in the Suleimania Mosque. Even though he lived more than 400 years ago, there are few buildings that could match the acoustics performance of Sinan's designs. Mimar Sinan was truly ahead of his time, making brilliant projects and innovations, some of which still confuse us today. We can't possibly squeeze Sinan's work into his lifespan as he inspired generations of architects and therefore is responsible for thousands of structures built until today. To sum up, very few other architects in history have made as big an impact on the world as Mimar Sinan.